Hi, this is a video review of the Samsung SGH F490. So today I'm just going to do a, uh, a review of the interface and just my feelings and feedback on the interface overall. Um, the SGH F490 is a pretty cool uh, interface from a phone perspective. I've actually never played it on a Samsung devices and um, really quite impressed with how they laid out the navigation and the force feedback of the of the phone. So let's take a look at it quickly. So it's already turned on. On the side here you'll see uh, there's a power switch and a sleep switch. So uh, if I remember right we just turn up for on. Yep. So when you first turn it on uh, from standby you're at the you know standby home screen. On the home screen uh, you can configure a background image. Uh, you have a couple uh, uh, buttons up here for uh, profiles, phone book, and uh, the phone number pad. Um, down here the time and below that is date and time as well. You could uh, right click or left or left slide, excuse me, uh, to change these views here. Um, the slide um, technique, it's not as touch sensitive as the iPhone um, and it probably requires a little more pressure than the HTC uh, Cruise Touch. So somewhere, somewhere uh, a little more than the Touch Cruise and probably other uh, HTC touch devices as well. But overall, really, really good um, touch friendly. So if you touch the middle here, that takes you to the main main menu here. Um, this is your point of navigation. If you hold down and drag, this point of navigation changes. You see there. And if you just click just once, just lightly press, that takes you to the sub menus. All the while pressing all the buttons on screen give you vibration feedback, really light vibration feedback. So really slick and tactile, tells you exactly where you are in the in the interface. Uh, this phone, I do not have uh, the right SIM cards to run, nor is it on the right network for me. I'm on AT&T here in Chicago, so this is on the 2100 band for UMTS and the, if I'm not mistaken, the 1800 and 1900 band on GSM, so kind of SOL on the uh, testing the phone. But we can take a look at the interface here. So we'll just kind of click through and show you some of the screens here. Phone book, uh, music player. Music player is kind of reminiscent to um, uh, the touch cruise kind of interface, but it doesn't actually you know scroll right. These kind of just go down. So internet has a built-in uh, netfront browser so that should be really cool mail of course uh, there's no active sync protocol in here um, it's not a, I'm a smartphone nor did they license active sync protocols but it has pop and IMAP support so I should be able to get most email accounts my files here's a video here's a, a uh, my explorer for the phone so we can take a look here let's take a look at memory status here too shows up your current status here and calendar calendar's got a couple different views yeah. let's go back here view by see we could there's sub menu navigation in there so pretty cool camera 5 megapixel camera uh, it changes orientation so we can actually take a picture Right now I'm not going to take a shot, but the camera's actually pretty good. I'll post a couple sample pictures so you can take a look at that. Let's go, let's exit out of there. Let's go back here like this. Uh, under Google they have a couple built-in apps. These are all Java-based apps, so the phone can run Java. I have to take a look here at Gmail. Actually, Gmail will actually fire off the uh, NetFront browser. Google Maps built in already, so it's going to load Java. Pretty cool, fast. Pretty, uh, pretty fast load time wise. Check some of that. And applications here. I haven't taken a look at uh, the Bluetooth stack, uh, but it should should support most Bluetooth profiles. I would imagine. All right, we'll clock calculator. Let's take a look at the calculator here. So calculator's got a pretty, pretty nice screen interface.
built-in alarms, and of course the ever-popular settings. I've got a bunch of different application settings here. It's kind of interesting how that's laid out, and uh, phone settings. So we could do, change the vibration feedback. You could turn it on or off or change the intensity. That was nice. Uh, you could change how some of the hard keys on the side are, the volume keys on the side there. And let's go back to the home screen here and we can take a look at the actual phone. So this is the actual phone dialer you would use to initiate a call. So pretty, uh, pretty nice big buttons. Um, easy to dial there. Easy to clear. I like the little uh, colored uh, colored numbers, kind of nice touch to segment, break up the break up the number dialing. So this is a video review of the Samsung SGH F490. Uh, I'll be posting a couple more pictures and a complete write up uh, in the next day. Thanks, and keep coming back to Godzilla.org.